Canada is a country in North America. Its ten provinces and three territories extend from the Atlantic Ocean to the Pacific Ocean and northward into the Arctic Ocean, covering over 9.98 million square kilometers, 3.85 million square miles, making it the world's second largest country by total area. Its southern and western border with the United States, stretching 8,891 kilometers, 5,525 miles, is the world's longest by national land border. Canada's capital is Ottawa, and its three largest metropolitan areas are Toronto, Montreal, and Vancouver. Indigenous peoples have continuously inhabited what is now Canada for thousands of years. Beginning in the 16th century, British and French expeditions explored and later settled along the Atlantic coast. As a consequence of various armed conflicts, France ceded nearly all of its colonies in North America in 1763. In 1867, with the union of three British North American colonies through Confederation, Canada was formed as a federal dominion of four provinces. This began an accretion of provinces and territories and a process of increasing autonomy from the United Kingdom. This widening autonomy was highlighted by the Statute of Westminster 1931 and culminated in the Canada Act 1982, which severed the vestiges of legal dependence on the Parliament of the United Kingdom. Canada is a parliamentary democracy and a constitutional monarchy in the Westminster tradition. The country's head of government is the prime minister, who holds office by virtue of their ability to command the confidence of the elected House of Commons, and is appointed by the Governor-General, representing the monarch, who serves as head of state. The country is a Commonwealth realm and is officially bilingual, English and French, at the federal level. It ranks among the highest in international measurements of government transparency, civil liberties, quality of life, economic freedom, education, gender equality and environmental sustainability. It is one of the world's most ethnically diverse and multicultural nations, the product of large-scale immigration. Canada's long and complex relationship with the United States has had a significant impact on its economy and culture. A highly developed country, Canada has the 24th highest nominal per capita income globally and the 16th highest ranking on the Human Development Index. Its advanced economy is the eighth largest in the world, relying chiefly upon its abundant natural resources and well-developed international trade networks. Canada is part of several major international and intergovernmental institutions or groupings including the United Nations, NATO, the G7, the group of 10, the G20, the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development, OECD, the World Trade Organization, WTO, the Commonwealth of Nations, the Arctic Council, the Organization Internationale de la Francophonie, the Asia-Pacific Economic Cooperation Forum, and the Organization of American States. Cape Breton Island, French, Ile du Cap Breton, formerly Ile Royale, Scottish Gaelic, C. Bretagne or Eilean Cheap Bretagne, M-I-K-M-A-Q, U-N-A-M-A-K-I, 5, is an island on the Atlantic coast of North America and part of the province of Nova Scotia, Canada. 6. The 10,311 square kilometers, 3,981 square miles. Island accounts for 18.7% of Nova Scotia's total area. Although the island is physically separated from the Nova Scotia Peninsula by the Strait of Canso, the 1,385 meters, 4,544 feet, long Rockville Canso. Causeway connects it to mainland Nova Scotia. The island is east-northeast of the mainland with its northern and western coasts fronting on the Gulf of St. Lawrence with its western coast forming the eastern limits of the Northumberland Strait. 
The eastern and southern coasts front the Atlantic Ocean with its eastern coast also forming the western limits of the Cabot Strait. Its landmass slopes upward from south to north, culminating in the highlands of its northern cape. One of the world's larger saltwater lakes, Bras d'Or, and Quat, Arm of Gold and Quat, in French, dominates the island's center. The total population at the 2016 census numbered 132,010 Cape Bretoners, which is approximately 15% of the provincial population. 4. Cape Breton Island has experienced a decline in population of approximately 2.9% since the 2011 census. Approximately 75% of the islands population is in the Cape Breton Regional Municipality, CBRM, which includes all of Cape Breton County and is often referred to as Industrial Cape Breton. Montreal is the second most populous city in Canada and most populous city in the Canadian province of Quebec. Founded in 1642 as Ville-Marie, or in Quat, city of Mary and Quat, it is named after Mount Royal, the triple-peaked hill around which the early city of Ville-Marie is built. The city is centered on the island of Montreal, which obtained its name from the same origin as the city, and a few much smaller peripheral islands, the largest of which is Ile Bizard. The city is 196 kilometers, 122 MI, east of the national capital Ottawa, and 258 kilometers, 160 miles, southwest of the provincial capital, Quebec City. As of 2021, the city had a population of 1,762,949, and a metropolitan population of 4,291,732 making it the second-largest city, and second-largest metropolitan area in Canada. French is the city's official language. In 2021, it was spoken at home by 59.1% of the population, and 69.2% in the Montreal Census metropolitan area. Overall, 85.7% of the population of the city of Montreal considered themselves fluent in French while 90.2% could speak it in the metropolitan area. Montreal is one of the most bilingual cities in Quebec and Canada, with 58.5% of the population able to speak both English and French. Historically the commercial capital of Canada, Montreal was surpassed in population and in economic strength by Toronto in the 1970s. It remains an important center of commerce, aerospace, transport, finance, pharmaceuticals, technology, design, education, art, culture, tourism, food, fashion, video game development, film, and world affairs. Montreal is the location of the headquarters of the International Civil Aviation organization and was named a UNESCO City of Design in 2006. In 2017, Montreal was ranked the 12th most livable city in the world by the Economist Intelligence Unit in its annual global livability ranking, although it slipped to rank 40 in the 2021 index, primarily due to stress on the healthcare system from the COVID-19 pandemic. It is regularly ranked as a top 10 city in the world to be a university student in the QS World University Rankings. Montreal has hosted multiple international conferences and events, including the 1967 International and Universal Exposition and the 1976 Summer Olympics. It is the only Canadian city to have held the Summer Olympics. In 2018, Montreal was ranked as a global city. The city hosts the Canadian Grand Prix of Formula One, the Montreal International Jazz Festival, 36, the largest jazz festival in the world, the Just Four Laughs Festival, the largest comedy festival in the world, and Les Francos de Montreal, the largest French-language music festival in the world.
It is also home to the Montreal Canadiens of the National Hockey League, who have won the Stanley Cup more times than any other team. Whistler is a resort municipality in the southern Pacific ranges of the Coast Mountains in the unceded territories of Squamish, British Columbia, approximately 125 kilometers, 78 miles, north of Vancouver, and 36 kilometers, 22 miles, south of Pemberton, it is incorporated as the resort municipality of Whistler, RMOW. It has a permanent population of approximately 13,982, 2021, as well as a larger but rotating population of seasonal workers. Over 2 million people visit Whistler annually, primarily for alpine skiing and snowboarding and, in the summer, mountain biking at Whistler. Blackcomb. Its pedestrian village has won numerous design awards, and Whistler has been voted among the top destinations in North America by major ski magazines since the mid-1990s. During the 2010 Winter Olympics, Whistler hosted most of the Alpine, Nordic, Luge, Skeleton, and Bobsled events. and Quad, Quadra and Vancouver Island and Quad, redirects here. For the nearby island named solely after the Spanish explorer, see Quadra Island, not to be confused with the city of Vancouver, located on the mainland. Vancouver Island, Vancouver Island, a 2,3154.1930.250 m crop.jpg Terra satellite image of Vancouver Island, 2003 Vancouver de.png Vancouver Island with major cities and towns. Labeled geography location North Pacific Ocean, on the coast of southern British. Columbia coordinates 49 degrees 38 and 125 degrees 42. W coordinates, 49 degrees 38 and 125 degrees 42. W area, 31,285 square kilometers. 12,079 square miles, area rank 11th largest in Canada 43rd largest worldwide highest elevation 2,195 meters. 7,201 feet, Highest Point Golden Hind Administration Canada Province British Columbia Largest Settlement Sonich Municipality, Pop. 114,148, Part of Greater Victoria 397,237 Demographics Population 864,864, 3, 2021, Pop. Density 27.64 per square kilometer, 71.59 per square mile, Vancouver. Island is an island in the northeastern Pacific Ocean and part of the Canadian province of British Columbia. The island is 456 kilometers, 283 miles, in length, 100 kilometers, 62 miles, in width at its widest point, 4 in 32,134 square kilometers, 12,407 square miles, in area. The island is the largest by area and the most populous. Along the west coasts of the Americas, the southern part of Vancouver Island and some of the nearby Gulf Islands are the only parts of British Columbia or Western Canada to lie south of the 49th parallel. This area has one of the warmest climates in Canada, and since the mid-1990s has been mild enough in a few areas to grow Mediterranean crops such as olives and lemons. The population of Vancouver Island was 864,864 as of 2021. Nearly half of that population, approximately 400,000, Live in the metropolitan area of Greater Victoria, the capital city of British Columbia. Other 
Notable cities and towns on Vancouver Island include Nanaimo, Port Alberni, Parksville, Courtenay, and Campbell River. Vancouver Island is the world's 43rd largest island, Canada's 11th largest island, and Canada's second most populous island after the island of Montreal. Quebec City, French, Ville de Quebec, officially Quebec is the capital city of the Canadian province of Quebec. As of July 2021, the city had a population of 549,459, and the metropolitan area had a population of 839,311. It is the 11th largest city and the 7th largest metropolitan area in Canada. It is also the second largest city in the province after Montreal. It has a humid continental climate with warm summers coupled with cold and snowy winters. The Algonquian people had originally named the area Quebec, and Algonquin, note one, word meaning, and Quat, where the river narrows in Quat, because the St. Lawrence River narrows proximate to the promontory of Quebec and its Cape Diamond. Explorer Samuel de Champlain founded a French settlement here in 1608 and adopted the Algonquin name. Quebec City is one of the oldest European cities in North America. The ramparts surrounding Old Quebec, Vieux Quebec, are the only fortified city. Walls remaining in the Americas north of Mexico. This area was declared a World Heritage Site by UNESCO in 1985 as the Enquat, historic district of Old Quebec and Quat. The city's landmarks include the Chateau Frontenac Hotel that dominates the skyline in the citadel of Quebec, an intact fortress that forms the centerpiece of the ramparts surrounding the old city and includes a secondary royal residence, the National Assembly of Quebec, provincial legislature, the musée, National des Beaux-Arts du Québec, National Museum of Fine Arts of Quebec, and the Musée de la Civilization, Museum of Civilization, are found within or near Vieux Quebec. Toronto is the capital city of the Canadian province of Ontario, with a recorded population of 2,794,356 in 2021. It is the most populous city in Canada and the fourth most populous city in North America. The city is the anchor of the Golden Horseshoe, an urban agglomeration of 9,765,188 people, as of 2021, surrounding the western end of Lake Ontario, 16, while the Greater Toronto Area proper had a 2021 population of 6,712,341. Toronto is an international center of business, finance, arts, sports and culture, and is recognized as one of the most multicultural and cosmopolitan cities in the world. Indigenous peoples have traveled through and inhabited the Toronto area. Located on a broad sloping plateau interspersed with rivers, deep ravines, and urban forest, for more than 10,000 years. After the broadly disputed Toronto Purchase, when the Mississauga surrendered the area to the British Crown, the British established the town of York in 1793 and later designated it as the capital of Upper Canada. During the War of 1812, the town was the site of the Battle of York and suffered heavy damage by American troops. York was renamed and incorporated in 1834 as the city of Toronto. It was designated as the capital of the province of Ontario in 1867 during Canadian Confederation.
The city proper has since expanded past its original limits through both annexation and amalgamation to its current area of 630.2 square kilometers, 243.3 square mi. The diverse population of Toronto reflects its current and historical role as an important destination for immigrants to Canada. More than 50% of residents belong to a visible minority population group, and over 200 distinct ethnic origins are represented among its inhabitants. While the majority of Torontonians speak English as their primary language, over 160 languages are spoken in the city. The mayor of Toronto is elected by direct popular vote to serve as the chief executive of the city. The Toronto City Council is a unicameral legislative body comprising 25 councillors since the 2018 municipal election, representing geographical wards. Throughout the city, Toronto is a prominent centre for music, theatre, motion picture production, and television production, and is home to the headquarters of Canada's major national broadcast networks and media outlets. Its varied cultural institutions, which include numerous museums and galleries, festivals and public events, entertainment districts, national historic sites, and sports activities, attract over 43 million tourists each year. Toronto is known for its many skyscrapers and high-rise buildings, 41, in particular the tallest freestanding structure on land. Outside of Asia, the CN Tower. The city is home to the Toronto Stock Exchange, the headquarters of Canada's five largest banks, and the headquarters of many large Canadian and multinational corporations. Its economy is highly diversified with strengths in technology, design, financial services, life sciences, education, arts, fashion, aerospace, environmental innovation, food, services, and tourism. Toronto is the third largest tech hub in North America after Silicon Valley and New York City, and the fastest growing. Niagara Falls is a city in Ontario, Canada. It is on the western bank of the Niagara River in the Golden Horseshoe region of southern Ontario, with a population of 88,071 at the 2016 census. It is part of the St. Catharines, Niagara Census Metropolitan Area, CMA, incorporated on 12 June 1903. The city is across the river from Niagara Falls, New York. The Niagara River flows over Niagara Falls at this location, creating a natural spectacle which attracts millions of tourists each year. The tourist area near the falls includes observation towers, high-rise hotels, souvenir shops, museums, indoor water parks, casinos and theaters, mostly with colorful neon billboards and advertisements. Other parts of the city include golf courses, parks, historic sites from the War of 1812, and residential neighborhoods.
Vancouver is a major city in Western Canada, located in the lower mainland region of British Columbia. As the most populous city in the province, the 2021 census recorded 662,248 people in the city, up from 631,486 in 2016. The Greater Vancouver area had a population of 2.6 million in 2021 making it the third largest metropolitan area in Canada. Vancouver has the highest population density in Canada, with over 5,700 people per square kilometer. Vancouver is one of the most ethnically and linguistically diverse cities in Canada. 46% of its residents are not native English speakers, 44% are native speakers of neither English nor French, and 51.6% of residents belong to visible minority groups. Vancouver is one of the most livable cities in Canada and in the world. In terms of housing affordability, Vancouver is also one of the most expensive cities in Canada and in the world. Vancouver plans to become the greenest city in the world. Vancouverism is the city's urban planning design philosophy. Indigenous settlement of Vancouver began more than 10,000 years ago, and the city is on the traditional and unceded territories of the Squamish, Musqueam, and Tsleil-Waututh, Burrard, peoples. The beginnings of the modern city, which was originally named Gastown, grew around the site of a makeshift tavern on the western edges of Hastings Mill that was built on July 1, 1867, and owned by proprietor Gassy Jack. The original site is marked by the Gastown steam clock. Gastown then formally registered as a townsite dubbed Granville, Burrard Inlet. The city was renamed in Quat, Vancouver and Quat, in 1886, through a deal with the Canadian Pacific Railway, CPR. The Canadian Pacific Transcontinental Railway was extended to the city by 1887. The city's large natural seaport on the Pacific Ocean became a vital link in the trade between Asia-Pacific, East Asia, Europe, and Eastern Canada. Vancouver has hosted many international conferences and events, including the 1954 Commonwealth Games, UN Habitat I, Expo 86. APEC Canada 1997, the World Police and Fire Games in 1989 and 2009, several matches of 2015 FIFA Women's World Cup including the finals at BC Place in downtown Vancouver, and the 2010 Winter Olympics and Paralympics which were held in Vancouver and Whistler, a resort community 125 kilometers, 78 MI, north of the city. In 1969, Greenpeace was founded in Vancouver. The city became the permanent home to TED conferences in 2014. As of 2016, the Port of Vancouver is the fourth largest port by tonnage in the Americas, the busiest and largest in Canada, and the most diversified port in North America. While forestry remains its largest industry, Vancouver is well known as an urban center. Surrounded by nature, making tourism its second largest industry. Major film production studios in Vancouver and nearby Burnaby have turned Greater Vancouver and nearby areas into one of the largest film production centers in North America, earning it the nickname in Quat, Hollywood North and Quat. Banff National Park is Canada's oldest national park, established in 1885 as Rocky Mountains Park. Located in Alberta's Rocky Mountains, 110 to 180 kilometers, 68 to 112 miles, west of Calgary, Banff encompasses 6,641 square kilometers, 2,564 square miles, 3, of mountainous terrain, with many glaciers and ice fields, dense coniferous forest, and alpine landscapes. The Icefields Parkway extends from Lake Louise, connecting to Jasper National Park in the north, provincial forests and Yoho National Park, 
Our neighbors to the west, while Kootenay National Park is located to the south in Kananaskis. Country to the southeast. The main commercial center of the park is the town of Banff, in the Bow River Valley. Lower Consolation Lake, the Canadian Pacific Railway was instrumental in Banff's early years, building the Banff Springs Hotel in Chateau Lake Louise, and attracting tourists through extensive advertising. In the early 20th century, roads were built in Banff, at times by stations have been open all year, with annual tourism visits to Banff increasing to over 5 million in the 1990s. Five millions more pass through the park on the Trans-Canada Highway. Six, as Banff has over 3 million visitors annually, the health of its ecosystem has been threatened. In the mid-1990s, Parks Canada responded by initiating a two-year study which resulted in management recommendations and new policies that aim to preserve ecological integrity. Banff National Park has a subarctic climate with three ecoregions, including montane, subalpine, and alpine. The forests are dominated by lodgepole pine at lower elevations and Engelmann spruce in higher ones below the treeline, above which is primarily rocks and ice. Mammal. Species such as the grizzly bear, cougar, wolverine, elk, bighorn sheep and moose are found, along with hundreds of bird species. Reptiles and amphibians are also found but only a limited number of species have been recorded. The mountains are formed from sedimentary rocks which were pushed east. Over newer rock strata, between 80 and 55 million years ago, over the past few million years, glaciers have at times covered most of the park, but today are found only on the mountain slopes. Though they include the Columbia Icefield, the largest uninterrupted glacial mass in the Rockies. Erosion from water and ice have carved the mountains into their current shapes. 